Welcome to a new Moho video. Today we will do something different and very important. For those who are starting in the world of 2D animation, we will talk about Moho, and I will also answer some questions that you asked me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. For those of you who are new to the 2D animation world, let me say, welcome. And welcome to Moho. Today I'm going to tell you about 5 really important things that will help you create amazing animations, and I'm also going to tell you a little surprise. We will see what Moho can be used for, and why it is the 2D animation software that is among the 10 most recognized on the market. So, let's get started. Moho is a proprietary vector-based 2D animation software. Described as, the all-in-one animation tool for professionals and digital artists is a powerful 2D animation software and combines the most powerful animation technology with state-of-the-art professional animation tools. Is a fully-fledged professional and prosumer 2D 3D animation platform. The software was originally developed under the name Moho in 1999. On April 26, 2021, Lost Marble released Moho 13.5, with new features including the Truvian Bones, Wind Dynamics and Quad Meshes, as well as a slightly refreshed user interface. But what does the all-in-one animation tool mean? What can we do in Moho? Is Moho recommended? And can you make good animations in it? Okay, let's see this step by step. There is a wide variety of possible answers when it comes to 2D animation since everyone has their preference when starting a project and there are several programs, each with its advantages. But let's go simple. Always the best answer is to see an example, or several if possible. Amazing movies and series created in Moho have been released. Among the movies we can find the great works created by the Cartoon Saloon Studio, such as the Secret of Kells from the year 2009. Song of the Sea from 2014. The Breadwinner from 2017. And Wolfwalkers from the year 2020. In these examples, we can see the real power of Moho and all its possibilities. You can also find short films and television series created entirely in Moho. As you can see, it is a powerful software capable of making all kinds of creations. And the most interesting thing is that we can all bring our characters to life from the comfort of our own home. So, let's start with our first tip. Is it possible to create your characters in Photoshop and animate them? Of course! We can create a whole world of beautifully textured characters in Photoshop and export them to Moho keeping every layer and folder created in Photoshop. Even if we make a change, it will automatically be reflected in Moho, thus making our work as easy as possible. Depending on the animation you are going to do, you may prefer to have your character drawn directly in Moho, as you will be able to do better animations and just create the static backgrounds in Photoshop. It all depends on what your project idea is. I am going to leave in the description of this video some links for those who want to start working, drawing, and animating in Moho. Okay, let's see what else we can find in this amazing software. Let's talk about Moho and Bones. Movo today is the most powerful 2D rigging system, Bones and Smart Bones animation software. It has a very easy and intuitive bone system to use. But what are bones? Well, when we create a character, whether in 3D or 2D, we must move them just like a human being. In this way, Movo allows us to create bones to move each part of our character. It does not matter if it is a character created in Photoshop or drawn in Moho, we can always use the bones. And this brings us to the next question. If we can make animations with bones, what is frame by frame animation? We'll see that in a minute. Okay, 
We already know how bones work, and the great thing about Moho is that it offers small variations that are incredible, like dynamic bones, which allow us to generate reactions in our objects or characters without having to animate them. For example, we can apply wind and the dynamic bones will react. Or, we can apply them to the clothes of our characters, to some parts of the body, or to the leaves, as we can see in this example. They will move on their own according to the movement of the character. This gives us an infinity of options to give more realism to our animations. There are also Vitruvian Bones or Mesh Warp, which are included in the latest version of Moho. These are tools that will help you create animations faster and with better quality. And this brings us to the third important point. What is the frame-by-frame -frame animation? Okay, so far, we know that Moho is what we could call an all-in-one program. It allows us to import characters or also draw them directly inside Moho. It allows you to use bones, control the wind, the use of dynamic bones, even create actions for our bones, and of course, it also allows frame-by-frame -frame animation. Remember those paper notebooks with pictures painted on each page that when you flipped them over quickly, they simulated a moving image? Well, in this case, each page represents a frame, and together they create the sensation of animation before the human eye. On every video we see frequently, there are certain numbers of frames that move at a specific speed and give the sensation of movement. But there is a little detail that I would like to clarify, since it is very important. Making an animation includes knowing what a frame is, how to control its fluidity, and what timing and spacing mean. These are basic principles in any type of animation. Once we understand these basic fundamentals, we will understand how to animate, how to create a video game, or even a movie, since everything is based on these principles. This generates a series of questions such as, how many frames does the human eye perceive per second? How does the human eye process movement? All animations have the same number of frames? But we will see all this in other tutorial in more detail. Please leave a comment if you are interested in seeing other videos with technical animation tips. So yeah, you can create frame by frame animations in Moho. This, unlike the animation with bones, will allow us to give much more detail to the movement of our characters. But keep in mind that it is something that takes time. I will leave in the description a link to the 12 basic principles of animation that were introduced by the Disney animators Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas. Let's see our next important point. How to draw and animate. Moho is a multipurpose program and its main strength is the bone system. But what about drawing in Moho? If you already work with Photoshop or Illustrator, you will feel very comfortable drawing in Moho. You can create scenes and characters in Illustrator or Photoshop, export them and animate them very easily. But if you wish, you can draw all your characters and backgrounds inside Moho. You can also add brushes and effects to easily obtain natural results. And the best of all is that everything can be animated. Moho is very flexible, and this will help you create amazing things very quickly. Finally, and to end this first video about Moho and its possibilities, I would like to talk about something that is very important. Lip sync and background sounds. Moho allows you to import voice audio to create lip sync, control the physics of the animation with its spacing graph panel, and work with the onion skins to help you in your animations. In Bart's video, you can see how to perform all these steps. You will see that it is very easy to import sounds and work with them in our animations. In the simplest terms, lip syncing can be termed as the process and way in which the sound is synchronized to the characters in animation. It is lip syncing which brings life to the characters and makes them look talking. The process of lip syncing in animations includes the dialogues and the mouth charts. The dialogues are broken into the phonetic syllables and the frames required for these syllables are then accessed. Animations are moving and talking images and liveliness come from the dialogues that they speak. So, to make these talks appear real, flawless lip syncing is very important. The keyframes for the shapes of the words phrase by phrase needs to be perfect to make it look right. The right lip sync will have the correct timings from the mouth open to the mouth close. 
Check the Bart Simpsons video to learn more about timing and spacing and other details about lip sync. And finally, I have a little surprise which I am currently working on myself. So, for video game lovers, this is for you. Unity game developers and users can use FBX support of animated 2D content in Moho Pro, eliminating the need to create rigid sprites for game development and providing the ability to get the exact look and feel that they want. FBX is the adaptable file format for 3D animation from Autodesk and is the most common method for integrating animated 2D and 3D assets in Unity. So, for those who are starting to work on animations for 2D video game characters, this is a tool that will surely help you in the future. This was an introductory video to Moho and all its possibilities and soon we will see new tutorials. So, for those who are interested in learning more about the 2D world and Moho, this is just the beginning. We will also continue talking about the 3D world since many of the animations that seem 2D today are 3D. Both worlds are constantly mixed and it is important to have notions of both in order to move forward. Today to pursue a career as an animator you have to know a little bit of everything. So don't worry, we will be talking about all these topics and how you can get better and better. For those who are new to my channel, welcome and thanks for being there. And for those who are already part of this family, thank you very much for your support. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.